Y'all ready to do this again? Come on, somebody. I need you to stand to your feet. Give God praise. We're going to take it back and declare that our God is worthy to be praised. So with this song, we want them to know we give you glory. We give you glory. Honor and praise. Honor and praise. All praise All to you. praise to you. We declare to your name. We honor you. We honor you. With our hearts we pray. Bless your name. Bless your name. Bless you, O Lord. Bless you, O Lord. Oh, my soul. Oh, my soul. Because of you. Because of you. Our lives are made whole. Are made whole. And with all our with heart, all our we want you to know. We bless your name. Bless your name. And we want you to know that God, you're worthy of our praise. So be exalted in our lives forever and ever. Because there's nobody like you, our God. We searched all over and found you're the only God. Can't nobody do us like you. So with this song, we want to let you know that God forever and ever, you are to be exalted. Come on. Be exalted and honored. Forever and ever. And never and ever. Come on. Declare it in here. With all your glory. others it makes the world a better place so i reached out to some of my friends that i know have blessed the world to encourage you to find a way bless somebody else bless somebody else i know i know i know god has been faithful every day every day yes and i believe i believe hand is on my life. His hand is on my life. God has proven that He's faithful. God has proven that For He's faithful. For eternity, I will be grateful. Sing it for me, Wes. Blessed with so much. So much. How can I keep How it, can I keep to, it myself? to myself? Wes Moore. Lord, I promise.
bless others. It makes the world a better place. So I reached out to some of my friends that I know have blessed the world to encourage you to find a way to bless somebody else. I know, I know, I know God has been There's never a week that has gone by that I have not looked, or maybe you haven't looked and seen what I like to um, describe as a tornado of ignorance. So many things. rather indescribable insanity inadequate it, it, it causes you if, if, if you weren't who you were to, to throw up your hands because come on I need some real people with me it just causes you to be frustrated causes you to be exasperated by the situations that are going on. And the media is just doing its job. It's there to give you an outlook or a narrative of despair, of discouragement, of this honor. That's what it's called to do. Every circumstance that, that 
you see is, is, is one that deals with a life that makes you wonder. To, to, to sum this as best as possible without taking a lot of, of, of time and to put the text into context today, we look at the prophet Habakkuk. And when we look at, 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 at him, um, he, he's described by, by one author as to be one who is a startled, tormented man. He's, he's, he's one that is, is filled with distress. And the reason why he's filled with this distress is because of, of the fact of what we can relate to what's going on right now. All of the violence. All of the hatred. All of the, of the anger that's prevailing. All of the agonizing that's going on. And so when, when you look in the midst of, of, of the text, what we come to, to find is, is where the prophet has a burden. And, and with this, this burden, he describes it in such a way in which he's crying out and, and asking God, why? He's asking God, how long? You ever been at certain points in life where um, you were going through, come on, what you were going through, but in the midst of it, you wondered why God chose you to go through that circumstance? You wonder why God chose you to have to deal with despair? You wonder why God chose you to have to deal um, with accusers and abusers and come on, and even dealing with your own agonizing spirit. And so it is, it is in this that um, what we come to find is where the prophet, the prophet um, um, gives us something because his name even means something that, that helps us along um, the way. His, his name means a source of hope. His name, um, it means encouragement. I, I don't know about you today, but, but, but I need some people that, that are around me that, that I can embrace um, who will give a sense of encouragement. I need some people, come on, that, that is around me um, that will give me some, some hope for um, um, where we are to, to simply help us to know that we can, we can make it. Rather than being in despair, the thing that we come to find with Habakkuk is how he chooses to watch this now, to tussle and wrestle with God. I wish we had more individuals that would not just give in, but that they would take uh, the moment to say, God, we need to tussle. We need to wrestle with what it is that, that we are facing. And, and here it is, um, um, Habakkuk, sees some issues. He sees what, not only what he's facing, but, but what his people are facing. Can I get some real individuals that are with me in, in here uh, for us to know that, come on, we're all in this struggle together. We're all dealing with the, with the same thing. And so in order to find a hopeful answer. Here's the thing that, that Habakkuk comes to learn that I just want you to take hold to today is that there is a distinction 
between a sight and a vision. Because a lot of people want to deal with things in sight, but they don't want to look at vision. Sight, my brothers and sisters, is what you and I see day after day, time after time. You and I can go home right now, turn on the news, and we will see sight. Because that's what's before us, come on, all the time. And you know, you even have individuals that, 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 that all they want to do is talk about sight. They want to talk about their problems. They want to talk about, come on, um, 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 what's wrong with the world. They want to talk about um, how, how there's so many things that, that, that is, is wrong. Come on, they want to complain about everything. They want to sing about complaining. They want to walk about complaining. When they show up at your door, when they call you on the phone, when they text you, when they, when they put something out on social media, all they want to do is look at sight. But if we're going to be the individual that will get over this, we need some folk with vision. Because the thing that I've come to find, my brothers and sisters, somebody say vision. vision. The vision helps me to understand the fact that there is a clear mental image of what I prefer to happen in my future. Because sight will tell me this is it. Sight will tell me there's nothing else that I need to hope for. But if you got vision, do I have at least one somebody that's got vision today? With vision, it helps me to know I can make it. With vision, it helps me to realize God is on my side. With, with vision, it helps me to, to know that though he slain me, yet I still know how to trust in him. What am I trying to tell you today? We need to remain and operate under the power of vision because where there is no vision, people will perish. All they will look at and settle in on and watch this and praise is their circumstance. But I believe I've got somebody that is with me on today that says no matter what observation someone might have, no matter what perspective or opinions, my vision tells me today, I've got a feeling. Everything is going to be all right. I wish I had a witness in here. And you sometimes have to grab something from, from history where, where, where grandmama and, and them would, would be at the table and simply say, I've got a feeling. Everything will be all right. And then they begin to stutter it and say, be all right, be all right, be all right. Why? Because they had vision. That helps us to know the importance of, of how to not walk by based on what you see, but you got to walk by faith. Do I have anybody in here today that says I've got vision because it allows me to see not just what's apparent, but it helps me to know that all things are possible with God. Can you look at somebody? Don't breathe on them. Uh -huh. don't, don't say anything other than looking at them to let them know everything is going to be alright. Uh -huh. we got to hold on. we got to trust God in the midst of it all. Even recognizing that vision tells me that we been may endure for a night but somebody in here that's got the vision not the sight because the sight will keep you come on in despair it will keep you discouraged it will keep you down and downcast but vision helps me to lift yourself up and help you to know that i believe i'm going to make it some way somehow i'm here to let you know it's going to be all 
right if you believe that in here come on just wave your hands at me because I'm here to let you know that you don't have to worry about anything you don't have to worry about what's going to happen and how it's going to happen how many in here understand that with vision God's got the last say I'm here to tell you that there's three things that I've come to know about God the first thing is that he will respond has he brought somebody from a mighty long way and in the midst of it come on he responded to your situation he responded to your circumstance he responded to your matter when you were sick when you were downcast when it seemed like there was no way come on he responded and then in the midst of it he brought results what was the results the results was come on you found your healing you found your breakthrough you found your way out of the circumstance you found your salvation I ain't talking about you just accepting the Lord I'm talking about when the enemy should have killed you when it seemed like everything was over in spite of it all you found your way you found your way to God somebody in here today no understand that listen the results of the matter is I'm going to find my way out of this why because I've got the word of the Lord talk to me somebody in here when you've got the word of the Lord it's the word that is a lamp unto your feet in the midst of darkness and a light unto your pathway and in the midst of it all how many know that God's going to reveal something I don't know why we're going through this I don't know why it's happening but the one thing that I know is then God is going to speak. If you believe God is going to speak in the midst of where you are, come on one more time. Let me just see you wave your hand. I don't need you to sing nothing at this moment because I feel grandmama's spirit in me. She said if I can't say a word, I just wave my hand because that helps me to understand that listen, everything is going to be all right. God is going to fix this thing. God is going to turn it around.
Uh-huh. And what did he tell? What did, what, did, what did the bucket do? And this is what some of us need. Just give me some sauce so I don't get to shout. Um, this, is, this is what the bucket says. And this is what I want you to do. He says, no, I'm going to stay right here. I ain't going nowhere until I have heard from you, God. See? Come on. Let me, let me. How many, how many people got problems? How many have dealt with persecution? How many folk can say I got some pain, whether physical or, or mental? Come on. Abaka tells us something in the midst of those things, that when you got problems and when you're dealing with persecution and, and when you got pains, he says you got to know how to persist. And the persistent comes when you when you hold fast to God. I'm, God, I'm, I'm going to stay right here. I, I'm not going. I'm not going nowhere. I, I don't care what nobody else has to say. I, 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 I'm not concerned with, with, with their opinion. God, I, I, I need you to talk to me. Come on. Can I get some witnesses in here? Somebody like me. God, I need you to talk with me right now because I, I don't need to hear from sight. I need vision right now. And the vision comes and, and that's where God will, will tell you what he needs you to know. And he will say, write it out. He told him, write the vision. Which means, write what I, write what I tell you. Write what, I, what I'm going to show you in terms of your future. Write what, I, what I'm going to show you and how you're going to make it out today. Anybody with me in here that says, come on, I'm going to write this thing out because I know that this is not it. This is, this is not all that God wants to do. Because I'm going to persist. God, I need to hear from you today. And maybe you're in here right now. Maybe you're watching us. That, that you know, come on. I'm dealing with problems. I'm dealing with persecution. I'm dealing with, with pain among so many other things. But, but today, I want to persist. Uh, I, I want to I wanna pursue because my purpose in, is in you, God. I, I need a plan that comes from you today because I know that, that in your answer is my promise. Am I talking to anybody in here that knows that God's got a promise for you? The promise is wrapped in. Come on writing it out, speaking what God says. So with everyone that is with me right now standing, come on, maybe there's someone, maybe maybe you're here. This is not about if you're saved or not. If you don't know him, come on, this is the time to get to know him. This is the time, amen, for you to come into relationship with him. But, but maybe you are here and, and you know, come on, um, this thing is... It's something I know I can't do on my own, so, so I want to pray with you and, and for you. Because how many know that the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous is what availed much today? God, I need, we need you, we need you. We're going to stay right here, God. We're not going to move from, from this place. We're not going to give in to all of those things that are trying, oh God, to hinder us. But God, we're going to walk by faith today. We're going to walk by faith and not by what we see. God, you told us, you said, give it unto you. And so, here we are today. Come on, anybody with me that said, I'm giving you, God, my problems. I'm giving you, God, I'm giving you these persecutions that, that I feel within. I'm, I'm giving you, God, come on, come on, I'm, I'm all of these things that, that seemingly come against me. I'm giving you the pains right now, God, that, Lord, you would help me in the midst of where I am. And Father, I know that you will send your promise. Because God, we need you like never before. We, we need you, God. We need you right here in our own home. Not in our backyard, but in our own home. We, we need you, God. And we need you, God, to once again to, Lord, bring results. To respond today, God. We we need you, Lord God, that you will, that you will reveal. Because all we have is you, and God, it is you that, that we embrace. It's you, God, that we stay encouraged with. It, it's in you, oh God, that we know that the enemy don't have a chance today. 
because greater are you that is in us than he that is in the world. And so, Father, with this today, we're going to stand upon our watchtower and continue to hear what you will say unto us. And this is the thing that I hear God saying to each and every one of us in here. He says, don't the vision tarry. You got to know how to wait on it. Because, come on, come on. I need you to put this in your atmosphere right now. It's going to speak. His vision is going to speak. His healing of my life is going to speak. His breakthrough of the circumstances that I'm faced with is going to speak. Come on, come on, somebody say that with me. It's going to speak. It's just an appointed time, so we've got to know how to wait on him. And as you wait on him, that is the means of worshiping him. Don't you stop opening up your mouth before God. Don't you stop opening up your mouth. Don't you stop lifting up your hands. Get into that place and worship him. Because in the end, God will speak. If you believe that in here, come on. I need every believer in here to open up your mouth, clap your hands, and give God your best right now. Come on. That in spite of it all, come on. I got to praise on the inside of me that just can't hold itself. Come on. You got to have a yes praise. You got to have a yes in your spirit. And believe God for the fullness that he is to come. If I'm talking to somebody up in here, open it. in your life. We decree and declare today that you will stay with faithful and, and being faithful that come on, you will remain. Somebody say that with me. I will remain. I will remain which means I'm going to get on the other side of this. Uh -huh. This ain't going to take me out. This is only the beginning of what God is going to do. Am I talking to somebody up in here today? Come on. I need 20 people that agree with me. I'll be the 21st one. That God
way he treats me Tired Tired of the guilty feelings Tired Tired of the broken dreams Tired Tired of the public things Tired of the baby mama Tired Tired of the ghetto drama Tired of the back and forth Education is the passport to the future. The Bible Centers of Rochester and Syracuse is an independent school that equips ministries and servant leaders to be effective in the body of Christ. At the Bible Centers of Rochester and Syracuse, you can acquire an accredited associate's and bachelor's degree, all at an affordable cost. For more information, call 585-502-8330. The Bible Centers of Rochester and Syracuse, where those who minister get ministered to. Call today, 585-502-8330.